Welcome to the Fundamentals of Network Security webinar. My name is Lewis Parker. I'll be your host for today. I'm an Information Systems Consultant with Pacific Coast Information Systems in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Before we start our webinar on network security, here's a brief introduction to the Boonbox Division and Pacific Coast Information Systems, our parent company. PCIS has serviced the business communities of Western Canada and the Pacific Northwest region of the United States for 14 years. Our services include network security management, network infrastructure support, portal collaboration development, workflow assessments, business analysis, and systems migration. We can expect the webinar today to last approximately 15 minutes, so here's a brief outline of what we'll be discussing during that time. First, we'll look at the importance of network security within the business environment, and then we'll delve into some of the different levels of security, and specifically those are the physical, the system, and the policy. Then we'll discuss some of the, appro the approaches to improve security within the organization, and then review some additional resources if you are interested in um, moving forward to improve security and advance security in your, your organization. We'll discuss some of these additional resources that you can investigate. And then we'll open up the, um, resor the forum to questions and we can address some of your concerns with regards to today's webinar and what we discussed. First, we answer the fundamental question. Why is network security important within the business enterprise? And as you can see, there are several reasons why we should pay attention to network security. Liabilities, regulatory compliance, proliferation of vulnerabilities, social engineering, and overall security awareness. And we'll go into each, de into, uh, each reason in a little more detail throughout the presentation. The most common response that the Boombox team receives from corporate and business executives with, res with regards to network security implementations are corporate liabilities. These include privacy concerns, stolen property, identity theft, extraction of social security and social insurance numbers, or any other type of uniquely identifiable information that can be used later to uh, compromise a person's uh, identity or to uh, destroy a person's credit or any other types of issues. So yeah, liabilities are a huge concern for businesses with regards to the importance of network security. Another area that is often overlooked by business and corporate executives is the area of regulatory compliance. Local, state, provincial, and federal governments have imposed regulations on certain business sectors to try to enforce security and privacy for consumer rights and as well as uh, to protect business information. And many businesses are unaware if they fall under some of these, um, these uh, regulations and they're also unaware of the, the details of each regulation and um, to verify if they are compliant or not. So regulatory compliance is another reason why network security should receive some greater attention within the corporate environment. The increased frequency and severity of vulnerabilities is also a major concern as to why network security should be important in the corporate environment. Zero-day exploits are very dangerous. These are exploits that are discovered and exploited by a virus within a 24-hour period. And these are so bad because usually the, uh, the weakness within the software, within the operating system, is discovered and then published on the internet or produced on a uh, news group or some type of public forum. And a hacker writes virus or some type of a program to take advantage of the exploit. And then it propagates through the internet and it can propagate within the matter of 15 minutes. So yeah, zero day exploits are something to consider and it's important to have software within the environment that, that can detect these zero day exploits and stop them because there aren't necessarily updates to tell what the exploits are and to be able to patch them in time. Also, another consideration are exploits within browser software and desktop and server software. The browser is very significant as many uh, 
companies rely more on web-based applications in the software-as-a-service model, browser exploits are becoming very common. Software exploits are also um, significant because many organizations, while they may update their antivirus software, they may not update their productivity software or any type of custom applications that may have some kind of weaknesses. Compromised websites, and this also ties into the browser exploits mentioned above, as many companies rely on uh, web-based applications and uh, web-based databases and data information systems over the web. Uh, compromised websites are becoming very common. It's very easy now for a hacker or uh, a criminal to set up a fake website that appears to be real. These are very common with financial websites, with banks and other institutions that appear to be legitimate websites, but essentially they're just there to capture the user information such as usernames and passwords and then uh, exploit that information over the internet or uh, sell that information on the black market. Email attachments are also a huge consideration as uh, at least 60 percent of today's email traffic is considered to be spam uh, malware or viruses, uh, email attachments can easily be um, something that could be harmful and uh, they could appear to come from a legitimate person such as a person within your address book or uh, a person that you do business with or have conducted business with in the past and the attachments could appear to be something such as an Excel spreadsheet or um, a word processing document until you open it and then it uh, silently installs a uh, Trojan or some type of backdoor exploit uh, on the user's desktop or proliferates the virus through the network. Also, and this uh, kind of ties into the email attachments discussion that we just had, is the sophistication of attacks. Many viruses and many uh, many exploits are becoming more and more sophisticated because there's money to be made within uh, exploiting networks and exploiting network weaknesses. Uh, much of this information, especially financial information such as uh, credit card numbers, social insurance numbers and account numbers are sold on the black market and used to be distributed for financial gain or for uh, other types of gain and it's so difficult once that information is out on the public market to try to, um, to to try to protect yourself. So this is a case where it's definitely more important to be proactive instead of reactive. Social engineering is also an area that is sometimes overlooked by corporate organizations and this includes uh, something that seems to be very simple and seems to be somewhat common sense but many people do not realize that this is the most successful method of compromising network security within an organization. This includes um, walking up to a person and just asking for a password or asking for some type of secure information to ask for access to a server or some uh, location where confidential data is stored. And here's an example here at Pacific Coast Information Systems. We were recently approached by a gentleman representing an internet service provider who stated he needed to access our server room to check equipment. Nobody had any record of uh, this gentleman coming or, or scheduled to come and check equipment or uh, anybody that would need access to our server room. So he was not granted access. But you can see from this example that this is something that could easily happen at other organizations when a, an administrator or somebody may not be aware of what's happening within the organization and can easily grant access to a secure area. So sh social engineering is um, an area that's too important to be ignored and all users within a corporate environment should be trained on social engineering concepts.